Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to my ninth leaderboard for Miss Universe 2020. Well, this is already my ninth leaderboard and I'm very excited because there's a lot of shuffling that happened in this leaderboard compared to my latest leaderboard. So I'm very excited to talk about this right now. But let me just say before we start the countdown, this leaderboard, this is the first time I will be doing my 2020 leaderboard without regional selection because yesterday I conducted a poll in my Instagram account whether they wanted to see a leaderboard with regional selection or without regional selection and the winner is without regional selection which means I have picked my top 21 strongest ladies that I think as of the moment regardless on which region they come from so without further ado because there's a lot of them that we will be talking about I will make sure to keep it short but hopefully acceptable to you but let's just begin these are my top 21 for my ninth leaderboard starting with my number 21 argentina alina accelerad i really love her i love how she transformed and has been polished very very well by osmel because she is coming in now as one of the possible spoilers in the competition she may not be my front runner but she could be a spoiler number 20 Cambodia, Sarita Rath, one of the strongest from the Asia Pacific in Africa, beautiful contender but I'm not sure how she will improve her styling because I was still a little bit disappointed with how she looked in the national pageant so hopefully they will learn from that but one thing that I really admire about Cambodia is she's got a very very likable personality which I think could work and something that the judges wouldn't ignore so hopefully she will work that charm. Number 19, Thailand, Amanda Obdam beautiful contender and the fact that she is coming into the competition with a lot of outfits with more dresses with more preparation this only sh it only shows that she is coming in as a contender that is super prepared and ready to take home thailand's third round but again let me just repeat that i have watched recent interviews of her and with the miss universe focusing more on public speaking i have to say i am still not convinced when it comes to her public speaking but we'll see we'll see i could be wrong but that's what my impression tells me as of the moment number 18 indonesia ayumo lida i have really really liked ayumo lida I, after our interviews and even before i still feel like she is one of the sweetest candidate that we have this year her face may look fierce but deep inside she's a very sweet woman very very likable woman as well and that's one thing that i really love about her and her her english speaking skills have has in, has has improved very very much but the thing is i wanted her to work on giving that impactful and powerful answers and responses because if she could be able to do that i am 100 percent sure that she will be placing higher than this ranking either top 10 or even top 5. number 17 nepal and shika sharma this is her first time to make it in my leaderboard and i am so excited because i have watched her up close and inter up close and personal videos recent interviews and i have also interviewed her as well and she is an intelligent woman i truly admire her for that and i believe she could they could even pull the same surprise just just like what they did in 2018 and i'm very positive that they could do that because i love how she worked with her advocacy which is focusing on education and i really have her, her passion towards that work Number 16, the United States, Asia Branch. Let's not forget that she is one of the smartest women competing this year. I mean, she is an excellent speaker, regardless of how controversial the question is, she could nail it. And this is USA that we're talking about. If her styling could improve as if it could, it could scream Miss Universe kind of look, this woman could pull a potential surprise and even a potential victory for the United States. Number 15, Mexico. Andrea Meza, I know she is one of the heavy favorites because she finished first one up in Miss World. I really admire and look into that resume as well. But let's not forget also that this is a different competition and she is competing with much stronger candidates as well. I really love Andrea. She's preparing so much for this competition but I wanted her to raise the bar a little bit because I still feel like some ladies are overtaking her already. So hopefully she could be able to go back on track and claim the top spot once again. 
Number 14 is Poland. Natalia Pigula. And as what you notice, there's no continental selection, but Poland is still in my list. It's, I believe she deserves to be here. I really love her profile, her resume. She's a very sweet candidate, and I really, really love her personality and have watched her... What do you call this? Her Miss Universe takeover in Instagram account of Miss You Updates. And I truly enjoyed her very, very much. And she's a great speaker too. She could potentially surprise everyone. And I'm looking forward to hear Poland being called in the top 21 this year. Number 13, Brazil. Julia Gama, I really admire her hard work in Miss Universe because she's one of the candidates this year that really invested so much in this competition and recently based on the recent updates that I am seeing it made me fall in love with her again and I'm really excited to see how Julia performed hopefully she will break the chain of Brazilian representatives placing only in the top 20 and then not making it to the next round hopefully she will place and advance farther than her predecessors number 12 great britain jeanette aquaya i mean what else can i say she is beautiful confident great personality she speaks very well and also amazing resume she could be she could actually pull a surprise also this year i'm not sure how she does when it comes to her catwalk when it comes to her performance in swimsuit and evening gown but the fact that she can speak well, she deserves to be on this list. Number 11, Venezuela. Mariangel Villasmil, amazing. Their work with Mariangel has definitely changed my thoughts towards her. I truly believe that she is a top 21 caliber and she could even go all the way to the top 10 or even top 5. She speaks English very, very well. She speaks Spanish fluently, of course. And there's just some, there's just that charming aura about her that cannot be ignored by the judges and again this is still Venezuela we're talking about they are going to make it no matter what number 10 Romania I know she's number one in my previous leaderboard but this is what I have said before this is a very very strong batch I have a lot of ladies this year that I consider as potential winners and I don't think Romania disappointed me in a way because her recent photos are amazing and I still believe in her capability and caliber as a contender. It's just I feel like other contenders are overtaking her a little bit. So she dropped to number 10 but no, I mean my love for her isn't less. I still love her very very much and I still hope that she could do very very well and even win the entire competition because as what I've said before I am dying to hear Romania being called in the top 21. Number 9, Peru. Janik Maceta. It would be the same case as well. I mean, I have so much love for Janik. Her passion for her advocacy and what she is working with and also when it comes to beauty, styling, her walk. I mean, these are already something that she master and she can... I'm, I have no doubt that she will nail on that category. And of course, I, my love for her isn't less. It's just, as of this time, I prefer and see other contenders a bit stronger but then again this is just my opinion i know she could deliver but as of this time it's just i prefer the ladies that are above her on this list but much love to janik she's still amazing as always number eight chile daniela nicolas again as what i have said before i am dying to hear chile being called in the top 21 or top 10 or even top 5 this year because daniela has been working so hard her up close and personal videos is super amazing aside from that she's been working on her interviews english and spanish so i'm very excited to see how all the training and preparation works and i i'm hoping that she will deliver and everything that her work will be rewarded with a great placement number seven Canada. Nova Stevens, I believe that her story, her inspiring story about losing her family and then reuniting with them recently is something that I believe they can af I believe they cannot afford to ignore that story because that woman deserves the place not because of her I mean her story is amazing but aside from that amazing story she is a great speaker I have interviewed her as well and she is amazing she is very very smart and I'm pretty sure that once she make it in the top 21 she could be able to nail the introduction speech and once she goes to the top five this woman could be unstoppable as well it could be a battle royale in the top five final question if she is in there number six south africa natasha Uber. i mean kudos to Werner for 
trying so hard and working his hardest together with Team South Africa. I mean, Natasha has improved so much and I believe she is ready for a back-to-back -back victory. She, could she be able to pull that victory? Of course, everything is possible. And with how she is transforming, I believe they have the possibility to pull that back-to-back -back win. Number five, Puerto Rico. Estefania Soto, I mean stunning woman. I have seen how she transformed from the time she was announced as a representative and styling wise, speaking wise, I truly saw how she has improved and I'm very, very impressed with the work of Team Puerto Rico. And I'm just happy and I will be very, very happy if Estefania will finish in the top five once again and continue the top five streak of Puerto Rico. Number four, the Philippines. Rabia Mateo. One thing that I really love about Rabia is her determination and perseverance to do very well and to bring honor to the Philippines. I mean, I really don't understand the hate on Rabia. I mean, I really love Rabia to be honest. So I don't understand why people are saying that I don't like Rabia so to be honest. I really, really love her very much and she was my predicted winner in Miss Universe Philippines, which means I wanted to see her and I wanted to see her compete in Miss Universe and now that she's here I'm so happy that she is representing not only the I'm not not only Iloilo City but the entire country of the Philippines and Rabia is such an amazing woman I mean you could never I mean there's if you are going to put your trust on her I'm pretty sure that she will not disappoint she can speak she can walk and her beauty is just divine number three India. Adeline Castellino, I am pretty sure that India is so hungry to take home their third crown in Miss Universe and I can see that in the eyes of Adeline that she really wanted to fight for, the, for that third crown. They are not giving much updates about her preparation but based on the very few that I have seen so far, impressed. Number two, Australia. Maria Tatil, I mean speaking wise, Maria is one of my favorites. I mean, let's let's not talk about the height issue anymore because I do not want to entertain that because as what she said, she is more than her height. And I completely agree 1000%. She is beautiful. She is an amazing speaker and she has done so much to empower women. And she is just super consistent when it comes to public speaking. And this is the consistency that I am looking for and that I am talking about. So kudos to Australia. And I will not be even surprised if she wins Miss Universe 2020. I mean, she is just amazing. But as of the moment, my current number one for my ninth leaderboard is Jamaica. Michael Simone Williams. I mean you know how much I love Jamaica this year. I have also interviewed her and I was amazed. I have watched her other interviews with other pageant vloggers and pageant forums and that solidified my trust and my faith in her that she will deliver and could potentially take home Jamaica's first crown. She is not only facially stunning, she's a great speaker and she has a very, very inspiring story to tell. And I am just super excited for Jamaica this year. I mean, this woman could be I mean, this woman could pull a back-to-black victory, which we saw only once, and that was two decades ago. Are we going to see it this year? If this happens, I will be very happy. So that's it. This is my current top 21, my ninth leaderboard for Miss Universe 2020. I would love to know your thoughts about my entire ranking, and I'm pretty sure some of you will be mad again for no reason, but it's okay. I am reading all the comments and all the responses are very welcome. So don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.